Hello and welcome back to Idle Kingdom Defense. So today we're on stage 17170, but we have a bit of a problem. So I got a late start. We have 14 minutes remaining. Uh, it's just unfortunate. I went to take a nap and a nap turned into a, sl a sleep. So I'm sure you've had that happen. I don't know why I was so tired today, but I was. So let's just get through this really quick. And again, this is a this is a zero chest. This is a one. I mean, the reality is, I just won't do King's Roman today, and we'll just have to all live with that. I mean, this is the second time this has happened. You, I used to be able to, okay, that's a one. I used to be able to, you know, if I was late. This is, now this is on the verge of too late, but part of the, what made this so bad is I didn't do Total War earlier in the day. And I meant to, because I do want to, so there's, I'm, now that I finally got everybody situated, uh, I actually did everything wrong with Total War. And we're going to go into that. Obviously not in this episode, in the next episode, because I was reading on the Discord, because again, like, I, I've i been experimenting with this on my alt account, but I did it on my alt account because I was like, well, you know, I'm just kind of lazy. And I was just like, well, I don't want to invest, like, a lot of time into this. Well, it turns out my alt account was was right, but there's a way the scaling works that I didn't understand until I read the Discord. So, unfortunately, we won't get into that today. We'll get into that tomorrow. And the interesting thing, too, is the Discord favors warriors with this scaling, and I'm not sure why. We'll have to look into that, too. I, I just... The reality is people have had a lot more experience with the artifact system than I have, because, partially because if you bought... If you bought all the ranks at the start... You're light years ahead. It's not even close. I didn't even realize how far behind I was. And it's because I didn't buy any ranks. Oh. Which, I mean, it is what it is. I'm certainly not envious of people that bought rank, but, I mean... Alright, so that's... Everything here, everything here, okay. So, of course, we've renovated. This is done. This is done. This actually took the most time for me because I forgot to do it. We need to purchase. Again, we're only looking for four star. If you if you need one star, this is where, oh there we go some Thor. This would definitely be where you would need to go, oh, Camila. So like I said, even at my rank, I still find some nice bargains here. You just have to be willing to come look. Oh, Lucas. All right. So that covers that. And then we have Astrology, which I can do really quickly. Thank goodness for my rapid tap button. And no Ruin Skip so far. That's a shame. Got some Ruin Seals. That's nice. There's one Skip. Really? Did I not get any skips today? Oh, there's two. Wow. All right. Well, maybe today was just not the day for King's Run. All right. And I have plundered the Archer Store. All right. This does mean that what we need to do is go work on Sophia's rooms. Now, we've, we've done everything, so the time doesn't matter as much. And I'm not going to do anything if we roll over. But let's go. let's go take care of this. 
And again, this this feels awful. Oh, well, we got up to eight now. And again, there's no way I'm going over because, you know, I have to do Sophia. Oh, wow, we got up to 13, 14. That's, that's a lot, 15. I also have to do Christian, so I'm not worried about going over. Especially, oh, 16. Okay, that's a record. All right, let's get lucky here. Come on, five. Come on, six. Yes! Okay, so we at least got it to six, and we're already up to, uh, this is a, a 100K. 100K max. This one was how much? Oh, wow. If it's really not that much better than this one, I'll be I'll be kind of disappointed. So, three levels. What, what's each level giving us? About 12,000. So, we can, it'll be slightly better. Yeah. So, 12,000 of this. Uh, three more levels. We'll get up to 109, 121, and 132 compared to this one. All right. So, it's, it's about one. It's close to one and a half times. So... <laughs> probably could have looked at this yeah this goes up by about seven so it's one and a half times stronger than this one so I don't want to blow I, I yeah okay and we get some more rings okay and we can definitely wake up Christians okay that that's all we're gonna be able to do for four star rings and it has health on it all right now here comes all right so what we're definitely gonna do Not you. Definitely going to get this to 15. And I did dismantle a bunch earlier, so we'd have plenty of shards. And we don't need to reroll any three star rings anymore. Now, ideally, what I would have done is made more progress on. The ice cave. The ice cave is really what we need to be focused on. But because of everything else, I just like, I was busy earlier in the day and didn't want to, and I thought it would take too long. So I didn't do it. All right, let's see. We will be looking at, looking at that in a future episode because there's an interaction that I didn't understand. And it's with the orb and the ice. So we'll just pump Sophia's ring. No harm in pumping up Sophia's ring. She has a nice ring. Sophia does not, as far as I know, scale with um, the ice ring. I mean, the, the orb. As far as I know, she doesn't. I, ha I have to double check that with the Discord. But... I will say we haven't we've made a mistake. The good news is I'm only going to need to rectify the mistake. Oh yeah, and Sophia Sophia's ring can get plenty stronger and that sucks. But that's fine. We can just we can just feed Sophia's ring no loss there. Not regretting putting some levels in Sophia's ring, that's for sure. Though I do wish it picked uh, health instead of what it picked. Alright, and we get... <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Damn. Alright, so we have... I'm just going to dismantle the rest of these books. Just we have plenty of crystals. You can never have too many crystals. I think somebody asked me in the comments about that. Having too many crit Like, if you over-dismantle, like if I dismantled all this stuff, all this means is, when I go to level stuff, I'm going to have this bank of crystals to work with, and I won't have to dismantle that. 
It's kind of like borrowing from the future. Like, I could have leveled up Sophia's Ring instead, but instead I got that. So let's go to Christian. All right, we're going to equip this bad boy. Let's go to Austin. Oh, Austin's ring's better. Um, Marion? Yeah, we can go to Marion. And there we go. That, that's it. You know, it's one of those things. A good ring just falls... Fall, it just falls down your ranks, basically. Okay, we'll dismantle that. Nobody needs a, a nine star... A, a level nine uh, two-star ring. All right, that said, uh, we did get everything... We did get... Oh, wait, we still need to level Marion. We did get almost everything done. But yeah. Damn if it, And so let me explain what the goal is. Uh, let's see. Who is next? This is kind of hard because I have everybody lined up incorrectly. I think the only one I have left is Evan. And even the way I'm leveling my heroes is basically wrong at this point. But that's fine. I'm going to get everybody to 7,500. Just finish that off. Except for these three that don't do any damage. And I'll explain. I'm going to explain what uh, what we're going to shift to, hopefully. Depending on the, if the game cooperates or not. So. What I didn't understand is the way this works. Okay. Uh, this damage by ranged attack. The way the, the multiplier for that works is this will stack with your ring. So what, the, what that means is, so Christian has a level 15 ring, right? That's a pretty good ring. When we level Christian's ring, it increases his base attack. He has 2, 000, 2 million. If we give him, in, and because the book, because the crit damage on the book is so low, if we give him the other ring, the other the orb, now his attack that does 480% attack gets even stronger. Now I'm from what I understand this multiplies. And so what I mean by this is if we if we take this and let's pretend this was uh, let's pretend just for the sake of easy math this was 100% right? Christian's base attack is a million. It, just for fun, just bear with me. If we give him uh, the artifact, and it's 100%, that multiplies this entire thing up to 4,000, I mean to, to 4 million, and then this is a, then this is 480% uh, of 4 million, so that becomes 20 million, and five times. And this is why they, they push crit damage so much on the Discord. The reason that crit damage is so good is because now, when you consider all these multipliers, this multiplied by this by this, the only other multiplier you have is crit damage. Now, I will say it's hard because, like, his crit damage is already almost 40,000, okay? I don't know how much Awakenings will really be adding to that. And because, again, it's going to be his crit damage minus their crit damage resist, which he has 7,000, so let's pretend that that's a 32x multiplier. So I don't think you're going to get the crazy-ish scaling here from these. I mean, sure, you'll get some, but even without that, even without these two, I think it's... Yeah, even without these two, you're looking at... So it's minus 1,000. He has 38,000 already. I mean, even if, if, you know, somebody Daniel was paired with, if you look at Daniel's buff, that crit chains. Not that one. This one. I mean, that that's 1,200. Don't get me wrong, it's better than nothing. But Christian already has... My Christian, he already has so much crit damage, it's, it's kind of crazy. He has 38,000. So, 
we'll see. I mean, Christian is definitely going to be my choice because number one is we've already gotten his runes really far. You know, he's almost done with his runes. And, and again, like, I, I don't see the, the value in Warriors as much. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I mean, basically, we'll be trying to pump Christian up as high as we can, and we'll see what that does for us. That said, as always, once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.